is there anything you'd like to ask us? Um, I'd like to know what's um, what the Suffolk secret is. What's going on? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to other places? Why? Why? Is, how come Suffolk's like this sort of have, having this renaissance of co-production? I think uh, as a health watch, it's really interesting. The local health watches around the country have quite different relationships with their local authorities and with their health system. Um, and I think there's a, a testament there to our health system and local authority with our relationship with them as, as a health watch. Has, they've given us the chance to um, show that co-production um, can work and has to start organically. So the way we started was a blank canvas um, where members of the community and different professionals from across the board got together to think about what it is co-production even is and pockets of it were happening um but i think our team with health within health watch suffolk were able to bring some of that together and ask people what it is they needed to really progress and one of those things was a shared set of principles so one of the first things we did was co-produce sort of a local um a local recipe as we called it the ingredients that we all agreed were right to to really get co-production off to a great start um and then it, it's grown really organically um so i don't have an answer to that question because it just keeps happening every day new, new things keep happening and it's um it's the relationships that are built um and our, our team of ambassadors uh nat is one of ten um absolutely vital to our work so we wouldn't be able to um co-produce co-design what we do um without those people with lots of different lived experiences and perspectives of um services and then bringing that together to do some co-production be the people who were doing the conversations and getting things started really it's good to hear though that that's that's how it appears <laughs> well, I think when you're in the middle of something, it can, you know, you can just, oh. the day-to-day -day sort of takes over, but it's to step back, I think. And I think um, it's the other thing about, um, you know, if there was a, a large, I mean, you've done it already, I guess, but to get the principles right and to, to have a shared understanding of what co-production is, I think that's really, that, that's really important thing to establish at the beginning. But you've got a great template for having done that. But I think it... You, you you know i think there there always comes a time when you've got to refresh that as well you know mm. have a look at it and sort of revitalize something um mm. Mm. now how have you found being a co-production ambassador because you were our first one and it's been a journey um you and i together as as well as everybody else who's joined our team since so how have you found yeah. it i found it quite revolutionary really from where i started the journey when i first found out about co-production and bewildered at start to, you know i have to put my hands up i was like what but the the you know sort of within a few minutes of reading about it and getting to understand the basics of it it really hit a note with me that there was a a, a way of working with uh, traditional systems that have hierarchy but then the hierarchy is put on the shelf and we can sit in a room together and discuss what the problems were and look at how things can be changed or adopted and yeah and 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 and, and quite quickly after starting the process i was able to be a part of a co-produced um initiative and i saw straight away the results of that so it was a, it was a like a eureka moment at, you know being at quite a terrible place in my life if i look at where i was as a person but at the same time having a, a tool to use to help create changes which have happened and i've inspired others and, and, and been able to take that around my community to share it with with, with other people so it's, it's a sort of a, a multifaceted um you know benefit that you get from it you know it's not just emotional but it's it's also financial because you can get you know you get you get paid for your time um and also having a purpose you know at, at that point in my life i had 
everything and nullified so i felt very lost in society so it then gave me a purpose so again you're ticking boxes of someone's emotional needs you know and giving them the fulfillment that they weren't getting in society so for me it's been a, a very empowering thing to be involved with okay any final reflections comments no just thanks very much for inviting me i'm yeah very flattered to have been invited and to meet to meet you guys and you know good luck with everything that you're doing keep up with keep up with good stuff that you're doing thank you pete we will be staying in touch um and we will continue our couple co-productions um video series with various different guests so if you have anybody in mind who might like to join us um do recommend them <laughs>